Hey guys, I thought you might get a kick out of seeing this. I decided to go ahead and, and uh, kind of match mark just real light with a magic marker, the alignment marks for my Vance and Hines baffles and the uh, staggered duels there, the classic twos. Um, I just wanted to see, I mean, I got this system so I don't have to keep covering my horn button for the textures and the talkers and the, and the uh, elderly there that aren't quite paying attention and don't know I'm there. But uh, I didn't know what it sounded like with them out, and I still don't. So I'm, I'm inviting you all here to kind of check it out. Don't know how much of a difference it's going to make. I always pull my choke out. What pulling that choke out does is uh, gets the revs up so that the oil gets to the uh, uh, overhead cams quicker. Wow, that sounds pretty authoritative. Holy cow. Yeah, I guess that would be your stereotypical uh, straight pipes with big chambers on the back. That's an amazing difference. I, I can't believe that just these glass pack baffles uh, uh, actually it made that much of a difference to subdue that sound that much. Pretty amazing. Let's give her a roar or two. That's flat out obnoxious. Plum trashy if you ask me. Throttle response seems pretty pretty spicy and uh, no backfiring. The coasters are in, the reed valves are out. Um, Vance and Hines were pretty cool in the fact that they gave me a nice little bracket so that I could uh, stash that rectifier away. And that opened up a whole bunch of airspace under the bike because not only is the goat's belly out of there, but the rectifier's tucked in neat. And that exhaust system is just sounding uh, bad butt there to me. That's ridiculous. Well, maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll leave it that way till I get my first uh, uh, glory ticket. Anyways, thanks for watching.